establishes the nation. That's all I'm yeah. saying. You understand what I'm but saying. So they had their king, and then you had a political system. Then you got a political system. Well, people well, recognize you as a nation. They came in here as an army, my army. Joshua, they came in with the elders, mm -hmm. and they came in here and established the nation of Israel. And they came in here and divided the tribe, and everybody went into their own pool. When they decided so now, so now, to so now, have a king. So now, no, when no, they that's wanted when to they mobilize. against God. Right. You follow me? But that's when I'm they not that's when I'm the not nation took back. That's not when the nation took side. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, that's, so, so that's where you, that's the difference between... Uh, that's a different thing what these people be trying to say it's a versus what the scriptures say. We <laughs> disagree, man. And, and, and my perspective is I believe the Bible. I don't, I, I, I don't believe me. Because I don't believe the king, then we had a nation. That's and I understand that. You know what I'm but then is that the truth? Let's start to with perspective. Yes. The nation started when we came across it and took all of us. Guess what? What language are we speak? These guys are. We, oh, speak, we speak English, right? Yes, so, huh? Nation so, has so. a meaning to it. The word nation has a meaning. Exactly. Yeah. You cannot use you your know. own perspective for the term. And that's nation. my point. And that's my point. You can't say just because we went through a point <laughs> where we switched leadership <laughs> in the nation, the nation that we were in the nation before then. That's your perspective. Right. That's you just well, well, that. They did have boundaries. They had, we had boundaries, yeah, we, we had laws, we had, had laws. everything that governed the nation when Joshua stepped in his name and we had land. Yeah, we had the Torah yeah, coming into the land. Yeah, we had the Torah. Yeah, we so had the Torah coming into the land. point of rebellion where we decided on, to have us. That's awesome, Matthew. I don't know. No, no, you started on, on that goal. I did. Yeah, good deal. You heard what I'm saying? You started on that goal. I did. No, so the point is, is that we had a nation. We had, and we had a rule and we had a king. And Somebody got to move. And who was our king? Who was our king? Do you want me to keep going there with you? But who was our king? Mosai. That's Mosai. That's just the way. Now, once we start to move, keep going. Okay, because okay. I, I ain't got time. I want to get to the tell a ride. Exactly. I'm, 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 I'm happy you surrendered on that. <laughs> I surrendered. Yeah. Chop you up. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so here, so it's like you said, a lot of the brothers here brother, can move into the Jewish aspect. And you can see here, this is talking about a lot of the brothers here that is coming into the land as black Jews. Mm -hmm. And I was defending the black Jews that came into the land. You see, I'm, I was the brother, you can see me with the Evos and a lot of the other brothers here. And I was at the university, I, I got the video sticks of me attending this university defending black Jews in the land. You see what I'm saying? This is the other way. So DNA is referring to black Jews. Mm -hmm. So, but there's a big difference between here the limbo. You know, so black Jews, black Jews. You see, this is all the black Jews that came into the land. You follow me? These are all Jewish roots in Sudan. You follow me? So all of this here was all centered around Crusader. Judaism. You see, all, all this was centered around Judaism. Now the point here, but this is me here. You start talking about me. That's me fighting for reparations. This is front page news. And all this is Chicago. I'm, I'm introducing myself and me fighting for black Jews. I'm going backwards and forth between them. This is another newspaper here talking about reparations. You find, it's gonna come, it's gonna make it very clear as, as, I, as I move a little further. The point is here, is that, is that uh, all, all of these are the various different people that I was working with, Conrad, Conrad World, mm -hmm. oh, wow. you follow me on? A Dorothy Tillman, and this is the father of black nationalism. So all these people here are all dealing with, now this is reparations, this is all, this is the struggle with the Hebrew Israelites that try to get involved with reparations. This is me here in Israel. And in Israel, I'm talking about the connection with the, 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 uh, uh, the so-called Cherokees, mm -hmm. the black Indians, and how the, and how the movement actually started with black Indians in America, not with black Jews. You see what I'm saying? They went from black Judaism, from black, black, black Indians to black Judaism during the time when the Falashas, 100 years ago, when the Falashas made their appearance in Ethiopia. You know what I'm saying? On the scene. And yeah, that's why yeah, everybody yeah. started talking about Ethiopian Judaism. You said, uh you talking about the Hebrew Israelite movement, right? Well, the Hebrew Israelite movement started as a black Indian movement. It didn't start off as a black African. Historical strands of Hebrew Israelite movement in America. You had Crowdy and that, what you talk about. And that's, and that's who I came from. Right. But, and he, was, but the, he represented but, black Indians, not but the, black But the African. genesis of those two movements, you linking them together, which I don't see them quite linked together in the same fashion because when... When you see first Hebrew Israelite movement begin in New York and Chicago, it came from outsiders 
caulking Jews from in our doctrine because our genesis is different. The 12 West camps, they come from that, where he, what he talking about. What I'm talking about, like, I, my philosophy is more of the Rabbi uh, Ford, Josiah mm -hmm. Ford, coming from that lineage, which is, I would say, from based on my research, two different histories. Okay, and, and you heard, you saw me listening to him, right? Mm -hmm. I, I heard him out, right? Yeah. And he said one key word mm -hmm. that he don't understand, because he don't really understand the picture of how it developed. Josiah Ford was a black Indian. Okay. Josiah Ford showed King Haley Selassie the same stone that I showed you. When he came to Ethiopia and showed King Haley Selassie that, that stone, King Haley Selassie announced that the, the, that, that the original rabbinical order had been reformed. Josiah Ford believed in Jesus, his, but his student, Matthew, didn't. You know what I'm saying? He uh, rebelled. Hold on. Hold on. He rebelled. Who was let Josiah Ford teaching? Because he had a teacher. Right, right. Yeah, yeah right. I know who his teacher right, is. Right, right. And okay. he believed in the Jesus. Okay, let's see. So now okay. you're adding on his, to a his story. Name, his teacher was Warren Robinson. That was his teacher. Warren Robinson. And see, and see, so the point I'm saying to you is that is that when you start talking about, oh, and these people believed in Jesus. The, the, the rebellious after, and that's why I challenged, and the video tape in this? Mm -hmm. That's why I challenged. All of the people of, of Fune, you know what I'm saying? And all those people that's talking about Matthews, they are rebellious because Rabbi Ford, Arnold Ford, believed in Jesus. Hold on, hold on. Did you hear what they said? The first, and, no, and no, the original. Anointed, and, and, okay, and let me talk. 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 Let me And he was anointed by King Haile Selassie as representative of the Vatican Orthodox. That believed in who? King Haile Selassie believed in who? In Jesus. Okay. You know? And he anointed him as the original Abraham because he believed in who? Jesus. His disciple, Rebeo, you know what I'm saying? Which was Matthews that started this anti Christ Jewish yeah, you, movement. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? That has been here Jesus. today. So I'm saying, I'm saying. You had your own no, no. stuff. Didn't you hear it come out of his mouth? He was the one saying that Arnold Ford, didn't he mention Arnold I Ford few as months. his source? You know, I mean, I'm or as his thing. reference to the tree, I just, you know what I'm saying? Arnold Ford, but he, uh, Arnold Ford was the teacher. But he wasn't was the, the originator. He was the guy. He was not the that, 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 that Matthew, that Matthew, Matthew's acquainted right. his leadership to Arnold Ford. We gotta get to well, let me finish. The, the, okay, right. So the, so, the school of thought that Josiah Ford came out started with the Moorish Zionist temple. Okay. Before okay. him. Okay. So he's not the genesis. Okay. Of okay. his own movement. Okay. I reference him okay. because he's the most popular, one okay. of the most popular people to begin what okay. you call this black Judaism. But you should know, more than which I, I do him. know. More than I heard. No, no, let me, right, right, let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Okay. Don't give me the history. I can tell the history. More than I heard. You don't give me you don't, you don't, you don't okay. Okay. Like, I ain't even said nothing yet. So I'm wrong. You, you already said it wrong when you, when you broke up. You said they, they're two different Okay, but well, let me finish it's my not thought. Let me finish, my, let me finish my thought. Now, we got images, and we got historical documentation by several different scholars who actually <coughs> did their homework, did the research, and we see that the, the authorship or the genesis of the black Jewish movement, so to say, quote unquote, or the black Judean movement in America started with the Moorish Zionist temple. Now, if you understand how that develops, then you could talk about how that movement started. When we look at the images, when we look at the facts, we see outside people coming into the major city hubs of Chicago and New York and influencing black people and letting them know that they were the lost tribes of Israel. Your boy, Crowdy, in which where you come from, has been documented that every time he went into the major cities of New York and Chicago, they kicked him out of there and told him to take his doctrine don't come here with that because they have already has established the whole quote unquote black Jewish or the whole theology. And he was coming in with what you're talking about, and that's why he never gained ground in those cities until these one West caps blew up 10, 15. I don't my, my, my rebuttal is that again, he doesn't have his facts, he doesn't have his timelines incorrect. Crowdy got a vision from God. You get me, you get me he got a vision from in God. In the late 19th century, bro. And, and, no, in the 18th century. 
It, that's the 1900. Okay, right. 1800. 1800. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? And so the point was is that after slavery, that, that the movement started right then. Absolutely. And what happened from then, it, it started as a black Indian movement. Yeah, first. And, and, and everybody came after that. Yeah. Warren Robinson was his student. Ford was his student. You know what I'm saying, huh? And they and Ford went to Ethiopia. Who was Ford more a, influenced by? Uh, I just said the, Warren uh, Robinson. Rabbi uh, and Warren, and Warren uh, Noble Drew Ali or all of them came all of them came out of all of these people okay. came out of the crowd. Noble Drew Ali, all of them came out. Uh, Warren Robinson of uh, Noble Drew Ali was a student. So what about Robinson. Mordecai Herman? You know what I'm saying? They all came out of Warren Robinson. After Warren Robinson was arrested. But why is the Mount Zion Zionist temple all, the they, oldest temple before Warren Robinson? It, it, it's not. Why is it documented that? It's, it's, it's not. So you said the facts is wrong. No, I, 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 I'm a Moor. So okay. I know. And I, and, so you and, said and the they, documentation they know, of it is they wrong. Know that it's, they know that they, they know that they know that they know that they know that they, they know that, that uh, they know the Moors know you, that it started with Warren Robinson. That Warren, that, 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 you that, said that, Warren Robinson. That he was a student okay. of Warren Robinson. I, okay. so it didn't start. It didn't start. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say I know who Warren Robinson is. Me and you have talked about him before. Then he, he, I'm not gonna on that on our folklore <coughs> or that oral tradition that you said it was. You told no, it's me. Written. You told me. It's no, written. no, no, no. It's not it's document. Written. It's like not just document. You gave me this. Let me finish. It's Let me document. Finish. And he also had he also had this text back there. Okay. Warren Robinson had this text. Do you see what I have here now? Okay. It, this has been passed down from but, there. But, here, but here's that. the thing. Oh, it is. Here's, here's the thing. So who's who's the, who's the person that? Uh, rebelled against Warren Robinson. It was Murdoch. It had to be Murdoch Homer in the Moore Zionist Temple. No, Warren Robinson was put in jail. Uh, 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 what happened was after he was put in jail, then you had uh, Noble Drew Ali that came out and stopped promoting more, more ish. More. No, no, I'm talking about Murdoch Herman. No, I'm, I'm talking about Noble Drew Ali right now. I'm talking but about Murdoch Herman was just another, just another student of Warren Robinson. You know what I'm saying? But he came uh, before Noble Drew Ali. Yeah, of course he came. Yeah, so yeah. I'm saying, Mordecai Herman came before Noble. Who was the through. person who rebelled against what you say, Warren Robinson? Okay. Who was the person? Mordecai Herman had to be. No, no, it wasn't Mordecai Herman because they were one, one the same. How, how is he Herman's one of the, the same, same and he dressed, because he dressed they, like they, a Jew? Because they were all Moors. They were all Moors. But understand what happened though. The uh, 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 one uh, who rebelled against them was Noah Drew Ali because Noah Drew Ali took the movement because it was the Canaanite movement. It was the back to Canaan movement. More like more, uh, uh, he took it and made it an American movement. Like we ain't going nowhere because the whole all all the brothers to go back to come back to the land of Israel. Cool. He made it and, and he made it where they wanted a state. They wanted to remain in America. They were in, in, uh, 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 under the uh, under That's the Canaanite. Under the, they were Canaanite, and that uh, and Moabites, and that America. Then you get Canaanites in America. Right. You know what I'm saying? Prior to that, but you went way off, don't you? You went way. No, off. I'm focused. I'm not. I'm no, not. you went all the way to the Canaanites, and we was trying to see. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm you you when the rebellion took place, it started with you asked me who rebelled. Who did he ask me that three times? He said, "Where did the rebellion start?" Did he ask me that? But you keep and, saying, and, and, and I no, told him, "No, Ali." But it wasn't more than Calhoun. You, you said Calhoun he was, he believed in Jesus, and four all of them believed in Jesus. All of them believed in Jesus until Matthews came. Matthews was wow. the one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that started the rebellion, and okay. they would tell you right there in New York City, in the Book of Commandment Keepers. Okay. They would tell you it all started with him. This whole rabbinical thing that they did about Hassan they, it all How about Rabbi Hassan all of them believed in Jesus. All these people were Jesus. So and you're saying is, before Whitworth, this is documented, before Whitworth, you're telling me that everybody believes in Jesus. Period. It's, that this Antichrist movement started with, with, with Matthews. Okay. And he made and, and the nation of Islam, Elijah Muhammad, all those people believed in Jesus. It was nobody. They had they right nine at that time would have would have started out saying that they didn't believe in Jesus. I don't Look at him as a prophet. So when we say that, you got to put that in more context. There's because a scripture. Everybody in the community is reading the Old Testament and the New Testament. Right. Matthews was the one that came out. He can't do away the uh, New Testament. No, I don't Everybody, throw all that. I, don't throw all I know all of that. Anyway, right. the point I'm saying it don't take. <laughs> anyway, so the point is, is that he ended up 
creating this 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 this, 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 this antichrist thing again. It, no, it ain't no it ain't no, nobody past Matthew. They even doing Matthew's time. We had the nerve enough to say Lord came to came to Mordecai Harlem. You said Mordecai Harlem believed in Jesus. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And they filtered out of that community into Matthew that didn't because they were already aware of the fact that they were children of Israel. Are you familiar with that? Does that make any sense? A little bit? Yeah. So, do that make any sense what I just said? I, they I, never came to a church to an antichrist movement. That would never happened. They went to Hebrew uh, people that did believe in Jesus and they started drifting towards Matthew's community. Because, and this is the fact, because the, because the, because the man was attacking. He was attacking Mordecai. He was attacking Ford. Mm. He let Matthew's go. He let the house nigger go. He let the Antichrist nigga go. Yeah, everybody <laughs> else, everybody <laughs> else, they was, they, was, they was coming by there, bombing their place, burning their places down. Mm -hmm. Did you know what I'm saying? Putting them in jail. You know what I'm saying? But the, but the, but the house nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's not good to talk about your ancestors. Well, no, he ain't my poor was my ancestors. Matthew was, well, he was the traitor. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to betray the community. He wanted to betray the movement. You know what I'm saying? And all these Antichrist people, that, 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 that come to him and say our rabbinical order started with him, they have to go back and say, so you where did that start? So it started with four. So you and, who the four and who did four get here from? From King Henry Selassie that believed in Jesus. Did you hear so that? That believed in Jesus. So, so how's a Jesus king going to anoint an un, a unbelieving Jesus community? That don't make any sense. Let me ask you a question. You see what I'm saying? And these people that are standing on Matthews, being the source of Rabbi the Fune, that's what you're talking about. Right, Rabbi Fune, that got his source from Matthew. And will he say the same but, history? But but then but then but then will he tell the same? Will he tell the history the same way you tell it? Yeah, of course he will. He would tell he would tell the same history that 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 that, that, that Matthew came from four, and, and that four was anointed by King Hezekiah. He would say, will and, he say, and that's why they call it Ethiopian what? What did he say? Will he say, Ethiopian Jews, will he say Ethiopian. everybody? But the distorted part that they try to take the dealing with people is that they try to make it appear that Matthew was anointed by the philosopher. And he was. You know what I'm saying? And the you know and, you know and he was. He was anointed by the, the royal house, the Christian house of King Edward <laughs> that was <laughs> The Christian you know, house. You know, to, 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 to this day. Mm -hmm. John Ross, the far right <laughs> Rude boy. <laughs> I ain't got nothing bad to say about this life. <laughs> John Rastafari. He's the only one that even the United Nations represents him as a direct lineage today. No, they king of kings. You know Jesus. Oh, now let's, all right, so let's move back. Let's, let's move back. And he believes in Jesus. Yeah, so, and people so, believe he's Jesus. Right, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, 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 and he refused that. So, right. this is, so this here is, now, no, now, now, we get, we, now we get back, I need you to read this brother, understand what's going on here. Read that right there, because that's going to get a little more clarity. Read that out. In the American Southwest, not far from New Mexico's Rio Point Corps River, there exists a small flat top mountain. It, it is locally known as the Hidden Mountain because uh, from several directions, the surrounding terrain does not allow one to see it until it is near the you. There on a small 500 uh, feet high mountain is an archaeological site which has been left alone and uninvestigated by professional archaeologists. <coughs> the site is replete with the remains of more than 100 small Middle Eastern <coughs> structures. On this mountain citadel is also found an astronomical uh, petroglyph that depicts a solar eclipse which occurred at 3 in the afternoon on September 15th during the year 107 BC. There's an equinox observation site on the eastern slopes of the mountain and numerous other inscriptions in ancient Hebrew, including the spectacular Ten Commandments inscription near the base of the mountain on its northern face. So, so, this is so, that, is so, that, so, that so you know it's the date it says. What? 107 BC. 107 BC. So this is proof. You understand? From the calendar that was there. Huh? Is this that, the that, that the children of Israel was there in America what? Long before Christopher what? But don't he know all this stuff? Long before is he coming around. in with this stuff? But, no, no, no. But is this, a, is this the last lunar stone? Or it's, no? Exactly. It's, it's the last lunar stone. Mm -hmm. And see, but, but there's other artifacts other than that the stuff. Yeah, stone. I didn't know there were other things besides. They and don't even talk about the, the Ten Commandments translation. They mm -hmm. don't talk about everything they else. They don't it's give you an idea of the poor slavery. Before Christ. Did you hear what that just said? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Huh? So that's so that's the, so that's what I represent here. But does that tie into uh, to 
the Israelites leaving the Assyrian captivity and going to the Americas? Uh, no. 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 They were there in, in America before the Assyrian captivity. Before? The Assyrian captivity. Did you hear what I just said? We rule. We are the worldwide king. Listen to me. These people don't have. You know what I'm saying? Are they still trying to put the pieces together? See, if you're a Hebrew Israelite and you know your history, you know what, what, what the mean. You understand the, the, the relationship of it. You see right here? This is, this is our landmark. This is our landmark that we ruled and we set in America to say that this is our land. This piece right here. This is our landmark. And what was this from? Yes, that's that's the one that's from. Oh, this for the sake, the sake, oh, the sake, the sake of myself. Right. Okay. I came over here to yeah, talk about Tel Aviv. Okay, so you see it? For the sake of me. But you see it? I'm saying, I'm going. I'm saying, go through it, go through it. I'm, I'm going. But can we accelerate it to that? Yep. You know, this is just that's thing. a lot of stuff. This is the last thing I want to bring up right here. All right, cool. You see, and right. I'm bringing all that up in order for you to understand that when I started. So, 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 when I started to come to look for the text to tell a lie, when I started to come and look for Mount Zion, yeah. I had to have, why was, I you was look, asked, why was you looking for Mount Zion? See, that's a good question. Huh? Why was you looking for that's something that, I, that, that people who already had, like, who be looking for something that ain't that's not lost? There. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, what happened was, is that, is that we had, we had brothers that had came to the land okay. and newspaper, my family, you remember Yaakov? Uh -huh. Yaakov, which was the, uh, uh, he was the mechanic. Right. You talking movie. about Yaakov that went to Liberia? <coughs> no. That Yaakov that came from that. I came from that. Yeah, he, he was, he was Eddie Yahoo's wife. Right, I know Yaakov. That's how Yaakov that went through Liberia. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. He was the brother that in 1975 saw the original newspaper that tell a that the, uh, the artifacts that was found at Tel Aviv uh, was uh, uh, that they had found artifacts at Tel Aviv mm -hmm. saying it was the house of Yahweh. He was the original person at Tel Aviv. He was living in Zamona. He was the original person that, 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 uh, that, that came up with that. Okay. What happened was is that when I came back, when I came to Israel, I met with him. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And then he what told me that? about his research. What year was that? It's, it's in uh, uh, 1986. Yaakov was here in 86? Now, Yaakov was here all the way. He, he, he just left here, actually. Uh, he, he left here in the year 2000. We're talking about the same Yaakov that, that headed the mission in Liberia when Ben and me and them was there. That same Yaakov? He was. Well, you said what it was. You talking about saying. He was my friend. The chief of that just said. And he was here protesting again. He was in a silent protest against Ben and me being the Mashiach. His wife had died, his children had went back to America. He was still here. When I came here, I supported him. You follow me? Every time I came to Israel up until 1987, all the way up to, uh, to 2000, I would stop in with him every, every year. Eventually, when I end up substantiating his original claim, you follow me? That tell I was the place, because I didn't, I heard it, but. Wait, 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 you said Yaakov, you said Yaakov came and told you. That he that they that found the artifacts of the house of God. The newspaper. Now you say he read a newspaper, right. and now you saying that he made the claim with that sign. That's two different things. No, that's what oh, I'm okay. Okay. That's what I'm He said that he had came across the newspaper in 1975, which I have the newspaper up right. on my Facebook page. You see when it came out when they when they first came out because they found the place in 1962, but they didn't come out with in, in public. They didn't publish the finds in 1975. He saw the paper. Wait, 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 1962, that's when they began to excavate. Exactly. But they Not found it. They found it and they began excavating it. And it took up to? 1975 when they actually published, published the actual research. He saw the first newspaper that was published. You follow me? And when I came here, he talked. He told me about it. So then at that point, when I got back to America, or when I got back to America, the, the rabbis, you know what I'm saying? The, the, my, my leadership had heard, uh, had heard about his claim. They asked me about it. I said, I don't know. Claim? You keep saying claim. Because it was a claim. There was nothing to substantiate. Uh, 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 no, his, 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 he said they his, found the house of Yahweh. A house of Yahweh. He said they found a house of Yahweh. But he's he not saying that's Jerusalem. He didn't have the newspaper. He just told me he read in, in the paper. He didn't have the paper. He said they found the house of Yahweh there at Tel Aviv. You follow okay. me? At that point, it wasn't an uh, uh, issue that was in Jerusalem. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, that's the first time I heard about it. You follow me? When I got here, I did. 
Okay. See, mm-hmm. what happened was is that when Yaakov made the statement, I listened to him. You hear me? When I got back, the rabbis made the statement. I listened to them. You hear me? They made and the statement they, of what? They made they repeated what Yaakov said that he that he, that he felt that the Jerusalem wasn't Jerusalem. Ah, see, that's what I wanted to know. You said Yaakov was the person who put that person idea out. out. Exactly. Said, and so then they asked me, you know, you know, uh, 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 they said to me, would I investigate? Okay. I said to them, why, why, why me? They said, because well, you have a knowledge of ancient history. And that's where all of this information would have been shown. See, all, see, the knowledge of this and this culminated to you being searching out what led, what eventually led me to understand, you know what I'm saying, that this was the actual truth. I went through a process, you follow me? And, and so, so the process started with this newspaper. You see? That's the one from 62 or not? Right, no. You know what I'm saying? The article from 62? No, 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 no. I mean from no. 70. No, no, this, uh, I have that article, but not here. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, I, I have it online. I should, I'm going to print that up. I probably remember to print that up. Mm-hmm. Okay, you see this? You see this? 2000. You see? So, but this came out here in, in 2000. I wasn't able to track it down until 2002. You follow? So initially, this so this here was the this here was the artifact from the Jewish newspaper. Now that came up, and this was and uh. And, uh uh, 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 I have a video of, of, of when I actually went to the museum and, uh, and, and saw the artifact in Chicago because they released it. Okay, what the artifact said? You see what I'm saying? So that's the point. I could read it. What does it say? You know what I'm saying? And, well, uh, let me tell you what they say it said. They say it said what? Hey, but, but, but read the artifact. Now I need you to jump here. Read that. What, what do we say? Here? No, you read it. No, I mean, you, no, 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 no. I, I, I need your part. Right. Keep it. While, uh, while scholars long believed that temples were built and kept up with donations, a shard of pottery that has recently come to light provides the oldest physical evidence of this practice. The oldest physical evidence. So they're talking about evidence now. Keep going. The pottery, which appears to be a receipt for a requested donation of three silver shekels for the upkeep of King Solomon's temple, is the oldest known mention of the first temple outside of the Bible. Uh, okay, so they're saying now that this is the oldest mention outside the Bible. So this is the physical evidence, they say. Keep reading. It was found along with another artifact from the same period that records a request from a widow for property. It's a major find, said uh, Kyle uh, McCarter of Johns Hopkins University. How the relics were discovered remains a mystery. Now, how the relics were discovered remains a mystery. So, so that gets deep. Keep on. They were turned over to scholars from the current owner, the London collector Shlomo Muzaif, who purchased them on the antiquities market. While the exact date of the, yeah, and the exact date of the pieces of pottery are still in dispute, they are believed to be from between the 9th and 7th centuries BCE. In addition to providing additional proof of the historical authenticity of the Bible, the artifacts help explain how people lived in biblical times. So when I saw that and I read that, I said, wow. I said, is this the artifact? Is this the article that Yaakov saw? You understand what I'm saying? When he mentioned it to me. You understand what I'm saying? This is, this is, is this a part of that? Before we move on, can we see yeah. on this artifact? Oh, no. Let's, let's, let's move this No, no, no. Because this is this the same. same artifact? Oh, this is the same. Okay. We have the same subject. Okay. We have to, after, after, after. So then I went online, you follow me? Mm-hmm. I went to look for this artifact, so I came across this one. This was, you know, the internet came out at this time. Mm-hmm. At, before, it was difficult to find anything, but the internet, I was able to Google the internet, and this one, and this one, and I got on, this pulls up, 2002. So then at that point. And you didn't find this. What's that? This article. Yeah, this, I got it here. This, they, they, I pulled this it up. is what they found. Okay, this here, they said that they didn't have any idea where it, where it was from right. in the newspaper. So I'm looking for it. So I, I'm, so I ended up Googling the information house of Yahweh artifact inscription. I Googled it, this pops up. This is the same artifact as this. Mm-hmm. And it has Yahweh's name now. I can read it. They found this in Tel Aviv. No, okay, okay, okay. No. Okay. They said they don't know where they found that. You find, but they said they found other artifacts with it. You got before. So what happens here now is that so. Here they have a translation of this artifact. They start to search for the other artifacts. As they said, so they were you trying to solidify the fact that 
<laughs> what they found was bait yak, bait, bait yak, bait yak. What? What? what okay. Uh, what was your intent? Like my my intention was first trying to identify what Yakov saw. I, I wanted to validate. I wanted to document that they actually found bait yak. I yeah. I wanted to document. Hey, bait yak. Right. That's what they were saying. Exactly. They and they I wanted to document. Yacht. I wanted to document that right. that this is the artifact that he found. Because then I, I have an idea, because he said he, he heard it, he read it, but okay. there was never out of it. Right. So uh, it was just hearsay. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so this I wasn't the foregone conclusion, this is getting you to that conclusion. Exactly. Okay. That's exactly. Cool. So now, so, 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 so then when I start to investigate this artifact, it said from Talawai. That's what led me to Talawai. Now, I came across the information here where this individual here, which was the first artifact here, that was that was written. It had a guy. It had one individual named. Uh, uh, you, you see here, this has two names on it. This has Eliphaz, and this and, and this and, the, and then this has also the other name on, which was the name on the first house, Yahweh artifact. This is father and what, and son. So in other words, this name on this artifact here is the same name, and this is the son on this artifact. And this is the father and son, and both of them are present at the house of what? Yeah. At the house of Yahweh. Who are they? You know what I'm saying? They're, 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 they're priests. You know what I'm you saying? Said that, you said they're high priests? Exactly. Because all these artifacts here, there was artifacts here that was being brought to them. They were being brought to them offerings. At, at and, what period? Okay, let's see. It's going to um, all, all unfold here. We, okay. it's gonna all unfold. So let's do, we have a, do we have a date for this article? Yeah, of course. It's all dated. All, all, all this is dated. All because this. then we can find out what, what no, date. I've already, found, I've already found that. I okay. already have all the information. Okay. But you ain't paid me yet for that. Okay. You see? So anyway, you see? So now, you see, because people, what people do, they come and get your information. They steal your research, and then they put their name on it. Give up on So that's why I have my son taking it, because he, he knows they got it from who. Or, so, so or, 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 or it could be another thing. Read this. Or it could be another thing. You don't have the information. Oh, of course. It could be that too. Oh, of course. Because it'd be either or. Uh, of course okay, I do. Of course <laughs> I do. I'm telling you, of course I do, and I've documented the inf uh, that information already. Mm -hmm. I'm saying we don't so have to go take your word for it. It could be other scenarios. Yeah, I understand that too. But here we go right here. Here we go. You want to read that? Temple to Yahweh, the Israelite God. Were not restricted to Jerusalem. Numerous sanctuaries dedicated to him once existed throughout Judah. One well preserved example is the Temple of Arad, which was in use at the same time as, as the Jerusalem Temple. <coughs> you see, so 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 this is when I start. They're saying that there's multiple temples. Exactly. Yeah. You're saying, and see, and see. So not, this that's is not what they're saying. That's a fact. What this, well, that's a fact. Well, we know that. Right. And they yeah. say this is the same time, same time as Jerusalem Temple, right? right. And they said the Temple of Arad, right? Mm -hmm. So now. Let's, let's, let's turn to the next page. Because I understand now what I'm doing now. What I'm doing now, I am... Investigating. Investigating. Yeah. And all of this, and this is me investigating at, 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 at a place they call the library. You know the library. Right? <laughs> so I'm going to... What's that? Right. That, right. What's, What's that to kids these days? Right. You know? yeah. So I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm, I'm pinpointing, I'm trying to let you understand it, because I had to go to the Cal Calo Hall. I had to look up the subject. We understand the work. Let's read. get to the information. We understand that you work very hard, more hard than we ever can imagine. Well, what, what I'm saying is that <laughs> what I'm saying, although I'm giving this to you like this, I had to sit back and spend hours to so ponder yeah. what was what was going on. You find me? So that's why I'm bringing it up. That don't make it right. Though. Exactly. Yeah. That don't make I, it right. I, I, you I want to make sure that whatever your right. words that you use, I want right. to make sure that you understand that. That don't make that don't make that it right. That don't make it right. You see, exactly. You see, so nothing. So, so that's why we got to go continue to move on move. to the next to the next statement. We wait, but discovered the outstanding discovery at Arad was the was the temple which stood on the northwestern corner of the Israelite citadel. It is the first Israelite citadel sanctuary to be uncovered in excavation. Its western orientation, content, and general layout. In many ways, we call Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem. So now, in many ways. So now, so, so now we get into the, the word. Notice the word that they use. And they use many ways. But they didn't say. Oh, no, no, you, you, you said you're not listening. But the temple shows an even more striking resemblance to the biblical description of the tabernacle in the desert. But notice the word. What notice?
Covered in excavation. It is the what? Israelite sanctuary. You keep you missed over. You keep, it is the what? You missed over word. It is the first. Oh, okay, how do you skip over that same word? Because it, it's, 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 it's over the main word. It's 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 what? Yeah. It is the first. You said so. Now we're dealing with it. See, as he, see, you see how can I deal? He, he, he said, okay, we have many temples. So you said the same thing, right? Now we're dealing with some documentation that says that Torah is not just among the many. It is the what? The first. It is the first Discovery. Israelite sanctuary. Right. So now it's gonna now we're gonna start to get a little bit more a little bit more into the significance of what makes this different. Mm -hmm. Now let's read here, brother. Uh, you see, I see I, I, I like what can I what can I just say? Just because I'm picked first don't make me the best player. From, well, <laughs> I don't mean that. From, from, from a vibe. <laughs> I, I just, the way you twist words and try to make it some way. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not twisting The first anything. don't mean that. Okay, or the it's first, the first means the what? It means the first. Okay, so that's what the first means. It was means, the first though. one discovered. Well, well, that's what that means. If that's I dig my hand into right. a, ba a basket of apples, right. the first that's apple will make it the best it. apple. Exactly, but it means the what? It the first the apple. Out of all the other what? Apples. You see, out of all of that. <laughs> You see, so the point is that before we even read this, Kanani yeah. had already made a profound statement in saying there are many temples. And you justified it. You said, yeah, there's many temples. But now, now it, we came, got it, first. it came up to be in the first. So first. We're getting closer now. First of all, we're we 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 Exactly. Exactly. So we're taking a process. <laughs> we're taking a process to be able to of identify what makes Telavad or makes what makes this place unique. That is going to be last? <laughs> no, that's the first. Yeah, but the first way we laugh. That's what it that, that, that comes down to. You, you was here before the brother, but the brother gonna get there. You first. Yeah. Anyway, let's get let's get there. From from a vibe. From a vibe. I got that. I see it. From a vibe. Example from a vibe and fourth century BC. As we're going through this whole show, the list of questions I have for the brothers. Okay. The, that you. Let me finish this one second. Yes. The 10th century BC temple from Arise is the only Israelite temple. Is the what? The only. Now, did you catch that? Did you catch that keyword, brother? Did you? Yeah. Inquiry. No, but did you catch that keyword? Uh -huh. Okay, so the now. The only Israelite temple to the Hebrew God Yahweh. Okay, stop. Ever, reco right. ever recorded. That's recovered. So now, so now, so That's now, not true. So now, it's covered. Now, it's covered. Right. Right. Okay. We, we, we would say to ever recover and what? In, 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 excavation. in excavation. Now, let me explain mm. what that means on a scholarly level. You like to use that word. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? That's heavy right there. That means that out of all of the investigations of the land of Israel, mm -hmm. this is the only one that they have identified as a temple to the Hebrew God Yahweh. Now, what God do I worship? Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? And it's an Israelite temple. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now, at this point, now understand where I'm at. I'm in America. I'm still in America. Wow. And I'm reading all this as I'm going through the investigation. Right. As I'm picking out pieces, I'm going through the investigation trying to understand what is this place I'm at. Now, I have already found two pieces in my language. See, all of this here is just what they think. You understand? I had already found two pieces, ancient pieces. One in Hebrew says, House of Yahweh. Another piece, House of Yahweh. I always found two these pieces in my language that makes it real to me. Because that's what I, I, that's my main source. I go by, not what they have on their, their newspapers, their papers, you understand? My main source is what I read in the language myself. That's why the rabbi asked me to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew that I was that I could read this stuff off the wall and get an understanding of what was going on outside of any other source. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I got just just two seconds. Okay. Yeah. So my first question that I want to ask the brothers, which I think you just answered, um, is this what you just said right now? That statement that this was the only Israelite temple dedicated to Yahweh ever discovered. Keyword ever discovered. Um, in excavation. Is this in excavation? Keyword. In excavation. Right. Is Don't this, use that word out. Okay. Was this the main one of the? Is this the main reason why you began to make that conclusion that this was on? Is this one of the main reasons? Have we gotten to that point yet? No. No. You went to the Ahab. Uh, no. Uh, Josephus' description of Jerusalem. 
It's another We're going to get to that. Huh? This ain't got no, no signature on it, man. Get out of here with that. Okay, well, can you go to the book? <laughs> you will see uh, this <laughs> right here in Hezekiah's, in Hezekiah's tunic. They have a big, big, live as day. Okay, and they, that's and they, the picture. And that's right. And this okay. is the, what the artist said Jerusalem looked like. Okay. And all the artists okay. tried to identify this. Right. But, but we're going to go through that. But that's the aha moment. The aha moment is when, that? The aha moment was when I actually came to, to tell her. And I saw this. You compared it. Right up there. On, uh, <laughs> right up there. Like, yeah. Aha! <laughs> You're going to see it as we walk up this day. Let me not. Let me not. Let me not. So now. So let me give you. That's your aha. I jumped up. All right. This is my aha moment. Fleeting. I mean, my aha moment when I actually came here and saw. Yeah, okay. That was my aha. Aha. You saw what? Yeah. Okay. So let me give you. That's my aha moment. Ain't no deeper than Ain't no deeper than the truth, brother. Okay. So now what's happening here? Let's continue to read, because now I'm still at the time investigating. I'm still trying to understand exactly what I'm dealing with. Okay. Read that there. Now. Because right now you know they call it a what? A temple. Mm -hmm. And according to my scripture, the temple was what? This door, not one stone left on the what? On the left. Mm -hmm. So what, is, what am I looking at? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What am I, because this doesn't fit the, 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 the scriptures, because I go by scriptures. See, I read everything these people say, but ultimately my main thing is scripture. That's the main yeah. foundation that I lean on. Man, this is going to be a long day. I came over here to get to where I was getting to. It's going to be, you said you had all day. Man, I really do, you but. You did say you had all day. I did say that. And you, now you get, now you get. Man, it's like, but this guy, he answered oh, so is so long with it and yeah. adding so much content. I'm just you being so thorough. You need everything. I'm being thorough. I'm being thorough. I'm being thorough. You need to remember it. Yeah, I'm being thorough, and it's more important. It's more important to understand that the information that we're reading in now didn't come from Worship. This is another source. And these, and these are books. This is not one book. These are books that you're looking at with different, with, with talking about Televised from different sources. Keep reading that. With the nine is your respect. Today, one Israelite temple is known that is contemporary with Solomon's temple. Now, contemporary means what? Same period. Keep going. To which it can be usually compared. Usually compared. Keep going. The excavated temple is at Arad. Um, there is no doubt that. There is no what? There is no doubt. Yeah, repeat that word again, brother. There is no doubt. Keep going. That this is an Israelite temple in the full meaning of that word, a house of Yahweh. So now, these are scholars, huh? and I'm sitting back reading about. They saying that they don't what? But they don't doubt that this is an Israelite temple. And the full meaning of the word is house of Yah. Right. It's getting more and more clear. But it's one word let me ask, that they're you, using before you go. that's not connected to the temple. The temple was what? Let me ask you a question. So you before. see how the, the, the path is still, we, we still got the grass. What's happening? Let me ask you a question. Now, they are saying this uh, stuff, right? Now, they're pretty. Articles. I got a lot of articles. That they were writing about to tell the rock. What is their perspective? Because you're not really getting to their perspective of their research. What are they saying that this temple was? You said it was contemporary to Solomon's temple. The temple man means same period. But we know Solomon's temple was destroyed, right? And then rebuilt. Well, the second temple, Solomon, that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What is it contemporary to? The first temple or the second temple? Exactly. Good question. Good question. I mean, they made the sense that it was that it was the 10th right? When they actually talk about the first temple, they talk about the first temple. <coughs> when they said they give me a time frame. So it's not contemporary. They ain't saying it's contemporary to the second temple. Right. That guy didn't know. That's that first temple. <coughs> I know. Right. Because that's because it's good. David's on the time. Now let's read this here. Because now it's gonna get a little bit more clear. As the, is that, are they talking about the temple or not? Read that. Alarad was found for the first time a king's sanctuary. A king? Mm -hmm. See, everybody else. Let's go up and flip back for a second so you can understand. So this gets heat now. See, this picture here shows you a variety of different temples in the land. Mm -hmm. That's why we have it there. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it points out a 
why I'm saying that's the house of Yahweh. But now it tells you, it's getting a little more clear, saying that this now is not just what they call a temple, but it's the first king's sanctuary that they didn't found in the land. Now, historically, the only... No, no, no. What did they just say? Read that again, because he's not listening. That a rod was found for the first that, time. You, did, you hear, did you hear that word? That key word? First, first See, when people keep making a statement first, that means what? Something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Tonight, your first, the, the first woman you had sex with, do you remember her? The, no. the second, the third, the fourth, you might have... But the first, no, you still haven't had no sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> that's no story. You still oh. ain't got that first to go. But that's no story. Anyway, the point is, everybody remember the that's first that they... <laughs> everybody remember the first that they did it with. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Most of the brothers. The, the girl that took up her virginity, she used to remember the first guy. Yeah, he dies though. The point is, is that... Well, I remember you, V.C. I remember you. <laughs> Playing high and go see. Uh, my first. I never forget you. Girl. <laughs> anyway. So again, you on this first. I wanted to put that in context. Like you said, but there's also the other palaces. Uh, right. Discovered. But what's the key? But what's the key here? Right. But what's the key here? This is the first what? Read again. Keep reading, brother. First King's Sanctuary. Keep going. Um, of that type, the like of which was surely to be found in other royal border centers. You see, so this is the first that they didn't found, you know what I'm saying, of a king sanctuary. On a border. Yes. On a border. Now, now it gets, now it gets even On the border, you right. skipped that. Right, 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 right. right. On, on the, the border. border of Judea. Exactly. That's you what remember, you're right. You remember King David, when he was leaving from Judah, it said he went by the land of what? Edom. You know what I'm saying, and the Edomites were throwing stones at him. You know what I'm saying, leave him alone. He was fleeing from Judea, but he was near the border of Edom. Let's keep reading. I don't want to know that. I need some juice. I need some. I'm a vegetarian. I need some fruit. Yeah, well, I can eat all the right stock. Right. All right. Now it says, since the general idea is the form. Okay, okay. In spite of the difference between the Arab temple and that of Solomon, <laughs> there is great resemblance between the former and the description of the tabernacle. Of the tabernacle. So they're saying that it looks more like a tabernacle. They mentioned, they mentioned, they used the word tabernacle before. Yeah. The tabernacle who? They, you see, so now you start to move away from this area of temple because the scripture makes it clear to us that the temple will be destroyed and not one stone left upon another. But the scripture goes off into the tabernacle of David that's falling with what? And then it also talks about how the most high will dwell upon Mount what? Zion, which is where the tabernacle of David was. You see what I'm saying? So then when you say, so then when you start to do some research, and you start to in scripture research, you start to understand that, that when the Maccabees came back and they re, and, and, and they re, and they reinstituted temple worship, it wasn't it, it wasn't on Mount Moriah. It tells you clearly that was Mount Zion. So, so all this information there, Mount Zion, starts to come to mind. So now, let's, now let's get the scripture. Now let's get the aha moment that, that the brother's talking about. Let's right? see here. This is from Josephus. Mm-hmm. And that's where this picture, the artist got this picture. Me, that guy. The city of Jerusalem was fortified with three walls on such parts as were not encompassed with unpa unpassable battles. <coughs> For in such places it had but one wall. The city was built upon two hills. Now notice that. He won. Which were opposite to one another. And have a valley to divide them asunder. At which valley the corresponding rows of houses on both hills end. Of these hills, that which contains the upper city is much higher, and in the length <coughs> more direct. Accordingly, it was called the citadel by King David. So here, the rest of the authors, as they do this picture, they put the citadel on top, they put the lower city, you see, mm -hmm. according to the artwork of, the, of, of what you still don't keep it described to Jerusalem. Keep reading about it. This, uh, but by us called the upper mar marketplace. But the other hill, which was called the Acra, and sustains the lower city, about how Tel Aviv was excavated and in detail any other stra stratigraphical evidence 
of the sign. Yeah. I, uh, I, I worked with the archaeologist and I examined I examined you who you have here? I examined the stratus okay. and I have uh and I have uh, and, I, and I have each artifact in which each strata that it found at right. you know, in the dating of the of the artifact. Okay. Now, and my son you, in this last excavation, my son Yeshaya actually worked with the archaeologist. Do you know how many different settlements they said tell the rock represent? I'm asking, do you know it, how it, many? It's on, it's, on the, it's on the panel there. It definitely is there. Probably there. Right, it's on the I, panel there. I know. I, I know. Mean, but, right. Okay, so when we go and look at Telegraph, one of the things that we need to be circumspect of is we're not <coughs> looking at one. one we're looking at 13 different of the same era. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let's finish. Let's You hear? Hush, hush, hush. You go. Let me get the time. Hush. You go. Let me talk. You let me talk. No, no. You trying to interject? That's what you do. I'm talking. I thought it was a question. Then I'm asking. I said, "Did you stop asking the question?" I asked you, and you didn't tell me an answer. That's what I'm sure. So now I'm answering the question. I'm sure you answered right there. No, you should have told me that when I asked. But I didn't know you was gonna make a point of it. It's simple for me. Yeah, you got it. It probably came to your memory what I said. No, <laughs> it wasn't important. Yeah, yeah. I told but you that if we But let me finish. Let me finish. Keep going. So I'm saying is when you get there, one of the things you cannot be disillusioned by is that you're looking at one cellular. You're looking at one structure. You are looking at 13 different structures. That has to be that, that's, that has to be in your mind. You're not looking at one artifact. You're looking at 13 different layers of settlement periods. That is what we're going to, and when I get there, I'm going to destroy this whole thing when we get there, because when we get there and see the layers, we're going to see where everything is. Okay, now, the response to his question here, you see here, brother? Let's get there. Now, hold, hold on. Yeah. All these were Hebrew artifacts. This artifact from this strata, mm -hmm. and it tells you the strata, to David's time. This was Solomon's time. Mm -hmm. This all the way up to the Babylonian period, to the Greek, to the Roman period. Mm -hmm. So what this is telling you is that in here is when the place was buried. So it's very important to understand, as the brother just said, is that, you, is that the strata here starts at David's and Solomon's time. Absolutely. Now, so the, scripture, it the scripture makes it very clear that I David took the stronghold of Zion that became true. the city of David. And the strata take you all the way up to the time where the Babylonians came and took over and when the, the ox, when the archaeologists got to Tel Aviv, what did they see? Before they did any excavation. They, they, they saw the mound. They said a mound? What was on top of the mound? Ruins. No. You didn't do enough homework, Hoshua. It was not ruins on top of the mound. Okay. What did they see on top of the mound? It was a cemetery. The okay. Bedouins had made the yeah, mound of tombs. Okay. 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 Did I have to read that? Right. I already know. Right. The last one is the, the grave. I know that. Right. Right. Now. So you got to read your own stuff. Okay, okay. now. Okay, now. Okay, now. It was a cemetery on okay. top of the mound. The okay. Bedouins used it as a cemetery. You're not, you're not, you're not understanding. Okay, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm because just, you don't. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, what happened was, is that, the scripture says, a city upon a hill cannot be what? Yeah. Cannot be good. So what ended up happening was that as each season, as rain came, the, the two towers, and you're going to see these towers, they start to be seen. So when they, so, so the battle had a cemetery there, but it wasn't, it wasn't where the ruins had started to be filled themselves. Hold on, are you suggesting, I'm not saying you wrong or the right. I'm, I'm based on what I've read. Those, are you saying those two, uh, what, what is it? Those two, uh, oh my. it's called mellow. Two, what right. you say? Right. Mellow. 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 Are you saying that right. those are part of the original structure? Exactly. Okay. I, I'm definitely going to, I don't know the people that have to do that. Yeah. He don't know that. Yeah, he but you, that. So he but don't you know just said, now you said it was rebuilt. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you that the, that the line yeah. was seen. You know what I'm saying? From the, and they, that's how they knew that it was ruined oh. there to stop digging from. 
Okay. They didn't go and start digging. They, they but I'm saying, when I asked you, ask you a question, and that's from the rain before, and from the ruins. Before they I got there, I'm digging. saying those two columns, as you see them today, that is not that. Those were not. Uh, 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 u